Hill, train, and you see the middle, the Cox. A la derecha ustedes ven muy bien los, uh, los, los cremallera, la cremallera en el centro de los, por el tren. Ayuda para subir. Bueno, durante el tour alguien me preguntó quién es el, uh, uh, quién es el presidente de Suiza. Es bastante difícil porque no tenemos uh, realmente un presidente. Tenemos siete consejeros federales. Y cada año hay eh, un otro de esos siete es el presidente. Y pienso que voy a decirles después pues, por qué es muy importante, porque la pregunta era quién ha construido esos ferrocarriles. Y al final siempre es el pueblo que, que dice sí o no, porque tenemos un sistema que se llama democracia directa, entonces so, tenemos alrededor de 20 votaciones al año en Suiza. Y cuando hay un, por ejemplo, cuando ustedes uh, quieren, quieren cerveza gratuito el viernes, por ejemplo. Buena idea, ¿no? Ustedes tienen que uh, colectar firmas de 100.000 100, ciudadanos. Entonces, es obligatorio que el gobierno tiene que preguntar a la gente quién quiere uh, cerveza gratuito el viernes, sí o no. Entonces sería una votación. Tenemos uh, 20 votaciones al año. Con, con eso. Uh, in Switzerland we have a... I was asked who is the president of Switzerland. That, that's quite... Well, it's an easy question, but also a difficult one, because we have actually not uh, one president, we have seven federal councillors, and we, we, uh, I vote the parliament, and the pol parliament elects the federal councillors, and every year another one of that uh, seven council gets the president. So, and now it's it's a lady, and probably the, the strange thing for you might be that these seven councillors they are out of four parties. So the left and the right, they are represented in the parliament, in the, in the council, this uh, federal council. And now you can imagine when the left and right are there inside, so in the, they like to rule the country, so that's quite difficult. So what happens? They have to find a compromise. And when they don't find a compromise, then, uh, but still they get to a decision because there are seven, and so what happens with the party that uh, doesn't win? So they will do the follow. They will just uh, collect 100,000 signatures of the citizens in Switzerland, and then they can do a referendum. So that means at the end, always the people in Switzerland, the Swiss citizens, they are going to decide. Also, when you have the idea, just to say it in Spanish, so, uh, free beer, somebody, mo most of you like beer probably, and what you could do now, you could collect uh, Swiss citizen, uh, 100,000 signatures of the citizen, and uh, saying, do you like to have free beer on Friday? So then, mandatory, the government must ask the people in a votation, do you like to have free beer on, on Friday? Yes or no? We just can vote yes or no. And that's... Uh, that system we call direct democracy. So at the end, always the people are going to decide. A la derecha otra vez el río Zweilutschinen. Vamos eso, ese río. Right side the river Zweilutschinen. Quite a lot of water now. <laughs> 